Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to create device restrictions. You go on the Usage tab of the Control Panel, and then Device Restrictions are created down here. First you select the Internet Connector or a group. So you've got a lot of options here because I have several connections set up uh, with multi-WAN. I can see my group my Verizon. This is a combination of my iPhone and my AirCard, both of which are on my Share Everything plan. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Next for Device. The effect is what you want the rule to do when it's engaged. I can either disable internet access or limit speed. I would do disable internet access if I exceed my 10 gigabytes a month. So I want the schedule to always on. So to do that, I do combined. This is the download and upload total that I've done through my iPhone and through my air card. I'm going to put 10, change it from megabytes to gigabytes. So what this will do, so my billing period here, I want to have that on the first of the month. That's when, uh, that's when I'm billed and Verizon resets my usage totals. Add the rule. And uh, you'll see here, configuration incomplete, click save, changes to apply. That simply means come here, click save changes. So this rule basically keeps me from ever going over my Verizon's data limit each month. I have 10 gigs of data. If I go over that, they charge me a whole bunch. So with this rule, I am stopping the internet, which blocks all traffic. And this is uh, applied to my Verizon, which you can see here, my iPhone and my cellular uh, air card are in that group. So if I go over 10 gigabytes within a month, it's uh, going to stop my data completely. It keeps me from uh, getting all those nasty overage charges. And you can see it resets the amount of usage every month on the first of the month. And you can see how much usage has accumulated within your current month. And you can reset that usage as well. OK, so that's how to make a group restriction which is very helpful for uh, what we talked about. Let's say I want to create a device restriction and I want that to apply regardless of what I'm connected to. No matter what, this rule is going to apply even if I'm connected to cellular or to Ethernet WAN through a cable or DSL modem or to public Wi-Fi through my WFR control device. So if I want it to apply to everything, select all internet connectors click next device you can see here my macbook pro i uh, would select exclude if i want everything but my macbook pro to uh, undergo the effect of the rule but in this case i want the rule to affect my macbook so i'm going to limit my speed to uh, five megabits per second for download and upload. And you can do this uh, however you like. Schedule, I'm going to do it all the time. But you can really fine tune that if you want to uh, schedule exactly when you're slowed down or when you uh, stop the traffic completely. And I'm going to select always active. So if it's always active, that means that this rule always applies regardless of how much data I've used. So that means that my MacBook is always slow to 5 and 5 for download and upload speed. This could uh, help you avoid uh, you know just skyrocketing on data usage um, kinda keeps you at a more reasonable speed. Um, lots of cellular devices are capable of extremely fast speeds but sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes that will uh, kick you in the butt because then you go over your plan. So sometimes it's best to 
keep your devices at a reasonable speed. So let's go ahead and uh, create a rule to slow down my cellular connections to a reasonable speed. I'm gonna limit the speed to three and and three. And like I said, you know, a cellular hotspot can go up to 20 megabits per second, but just sometimes you you want to limit that so that you don't you don't just blast through all your data. We'll do that always active as well. So you can see there's a lot of different ways you can really tweak these rules. You can get creative with them. Um, basically what I'm trying to accomplish here is uh, don't go over my data limit per month. That's my first rule. Keep my MacBook at a reasonable speed on all internet connectors. Keep all of my cellular internet sources slowed down to 3 megabits per second for download and upload. And that's active all the time. So let's do another interesting rule. So let's say you've got a grandson or a child who you don't want browsing the internet during the night. So for all of my internet sources, I'm going to select a device. This is my, uh, this is my Android phone, but we'll just say it's uh, Jimmy's tablet. I'm going to hit next. We're going to say disable internet access. Stops it entirely. So every day of the week I want this rule to apply but I don't want it to be all day instead I want it to start at we'll say 9 p.m. that's bedtime and then he wakes up at about 8 p.m. but or not p.m. that would be a lazy person um, wakes up around 8 that's when he can uh, get back on so Basically, we're making this this rule apply every night from 9 p.m. through 8 a.m. And we want this to be always active. This activation is uh, basically if you want to trigger a slowdown point or something, if they are using a bunch of information and downloads and uploads, then you would set a trigger here. But if you want a rule like this, to basically keep them off the web at night and just have it always active. Okay. So now Timmy or Jimmy, whatever his name is, uh, is going to have a hard time browsing the internet at night. So you can really get creative. Like I said, you've got a lot of uh, different options here. And, uh, you know, these rules just help you to manage individual devices to manage internet sources you can see here this is a rule which applies to an internet source this is a rule that applies to a device keeps it from going online at a certain time frame this one is again for my MacBook a device this one is for more of a group this is keeping me from having my internet sources exceed their monthly limit so a lot of applications here, a lot of creativity. So if you've got questions about it, you can browse forums or uh, ask our tech support team. But this should give you kind of an idea of uh, the different abilities and, and uh, rules that you can create.